Why, hello. Welcome back to engineering. And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Do you have what it takes to defend your <laughs> Welcome back to the Underworlds, folks. We are looking around for the chief engineer whose name I have forgotten. Ah, you! I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Steal the modern steel wrench and you. Hello. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Ground it's fine. Can see many visitors. Uh, I'm the captain of the Unreliable, though my ship's a bit grounded at the moment. I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Problems? For me? Salute. Copy that, Chief. At ease. Nice to see an outsider with some working brain cells. That, that might be a bit... So what brings you um, to I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Uh, We are not just passing through. Oh. Uh, once I get out of impound, I'm bound for Monarch. Interesting. The powers that be paint a picture of Monarch, critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. Hmm. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate threats. That is not us. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. You are, uh, hmm. Pavati, you wanted to talk to Junli. What? I didn't think you just. <laughs> Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Ooh, flirty. Uh, no sure to continue. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. Aww. You anything. Don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. That might be a little bit, uh, silently encourage Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, She's smitten. Your, your name's pretty too. I should have said, sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Wow. Nice job, Pavati. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for... Um... Oh, yeah, the heat issue. Groundbreakers radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. That ain't good. Uh, why haven't they fixed yet? Only the board has access to new parts. Ah. And I won't let them swindle me into a... Lemonies. Surely the board doesn't... Uh, is there no room for... Surely the board doesn't want it to roast. I want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad... Uh -huh. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> the board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online... I think I know a person board, that can help. Uh, is there a way I can help? I, we'd be grateful. I am an engineer. No, I might. I can't remember. The parts we need should be in the back bays. Uh, am I supposed to know where that is? Sorry, I forgot. Not <laughs> everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned. Ah, for miscreants now. A haven. Uh, couldn't we try to talk this out with whoever's down there? Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die. Smart. Less. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Okay. I will get you those parts. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. And then she might help us uh, uh, deal with other... This is Halcyon News. 
We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Right, uh, let's just quickly Let's repair our stuff Oh, we, st we need to repair armor as well, don't we? Uh, don't need to repair those, I'm not wearing them Toss ball first. Okay, so we need to. Happiness is a warm spaceship. We're going down. We're yelling timber. Miracle on the frontier. Ah, Captain McCred. Were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with the king. Uh, I'm okay to parlay with the king. Hello. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. That's no way to talk to a lady. Yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is, is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? His voice was slipping. This deck is too His accent. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain. I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who or a lens flare. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Uh. I was just exploring the ship and stumbled on this level. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business. But we do have, have business. Light up the grill. No one turns their back on me oh. while I'm holding court. Get her, boys! Here they come. <laughs> uh, bye, McCred. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, that's Pavati. That's ah, quite difficult to hit with melee. Oh, you're uh... Yeah, the, the, the melee attacks not super responsive. Guys, what are you doing? Uh, use it to be stuck in a grill. Uh, McCred's lighter. Montag. Heavy weapon. Got it. Inside voices. We'll come back to that. For there are many a corpse to clear up first. Actually, just that that just takes us out here, doesn't it? Yeah. Not entirely sure why some of these counters stealing when there is very clearly nobody around. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, an axe. Yeah, th there's nobody to see us stealing things, so... You'd think it would turn back to... A normal colour. Hello. You look a lot like... Um... A... The tank class from Anthem. Colossus. In fact, that might be deliberate. 
Right, we've got two options of where to go. We can go up here. Don't really want to go through there. Mom. Oh. So. Uh, there's there are other guys around here. Where are you? Oh shoot! Okay, so that woke up the uh, the big guy. It's good to know. I must remember that my inhaler, doesn't it heal people around me as well? Who ate my lunch? Wow, that's, that's very straight handwriting. Uh... uh. I don't actually want all of this junk. Do you know my ecologist log? When I settled on Groundbreaker, I thought this would be my gateway to the stars. The beginning of my epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws. Not even for selling. They're just eating the damn things by the handful. Some of the crew have been tripping for weeks. I suppose it could be worse. Out of a sub-like contractor who got dissolved in chemicals and flushed down waste treatment for stealing from Lila. Now McCred, he's always happy to see him. He calls me his fungus lad. Update. McCred just set a man on fire for having his laces undone. Shit, shit, shit. Maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. Time to experiment. Wonderful. So these are delightful... Hyper, uh, ooh. The thing is, I didn't actually want to kill any of these guys. Oh, I think I've become encumbered. So, uh. Let's. Break down some bits and pieces. Uh, I need to sort these. Can we sort them by type? I suppose if we sort them by name, then they should go next to each other if there's some uh, duplicates, shouldn't they? Probably got some of these that we can. 133 out of 140. Yeah, I, I should most likely need... I most likely need to sell some of this tat. Right, so... Can you imagine being frozen for 10 years, sailing through space in a room such as this? Uh... Lab outfits. Asthma rifle. Uh, what was that? Do not, but I'm going to nick it anyway. <laughs> Such is my. Work gear? Farm friendly? Bonk! That's the last of them. Your team. I'm with your leg. Oh? Oh, is that somebody that got sent down here? 
Taking that and that. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Uh, shoot. You know, you made a real generous argument. So she will actually, yeah, okay. That was my bad. Any new faces down here since I arrived? Not sure how long ago that was. The grid tends to incinerate anyone. Well, he's dead. I came to grab some radiator parts. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Uh, a lot of characters in this have got very similar faces. That was quick. Right, what do we got? Antibiotics cream. Where where are these radiator parts? Oh, they're marked on the map. Uh, well, not on the map, on the compass. They're over there. How do I get up there? Uh, I guess we go. Uh, I don't see another door. Oh, unless there's one on that side. But I rather foolishly miss. I don't know, there's a ladder. Oh, and there's some steps. What's up the ladder first, then? This place is falling apart. I am stealth. Any more for any more? No? Seventy five cartridges is is not a particularly uh particularly steep price to pay but i guess we could have somehow got through that without stealing things fantastic we've got them now we can move on to cleaner pastures indeed ooh heavy machine gun oh i'm encumbered again Break down. Uh, right, we could, uh, right, wait five, wait what? Right, I can get rid of the pistol because I've got very little intention of using the pistol. Also, I've got one equipped. Uh, I can get rid of the spade. Get up to the sentry saber. Shotgun. Do do do. Those are the same, aren't they? Yeah. Grenade launcher. There we go. Now we can sprint. Even the proverbial unwashed masses would turn their noses up at this place. Or cut them off. Yeah. I do feel like I really don't know what I'm doing. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Hello, impressed. 
I got the parts. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Okay. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. Okay. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticore infestation. Okay. Don't worry, Miss Junle. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to encourage her to flirt throughout the game, aren't we? I am fine with that. That will entertain me. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the grand plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, um, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. <laughs> the controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiators. Uh, oh! Things! Help! I'm on fire! Wow. Ooh, bypass shunts. Hold on. I can still hear you. No, that's the shrink ray. That is of limited use. Oh good. A fight. Oh good. A fight. Uh we need to go up. I love the battle music. Funk. Don't mess with us. Armor parts. Lots of mag picks. Free to all. Oh, the the little ash. Ow. The little ash piles are when we um we reduce things to mush. Yay! Sneak past if you can. Shoot back if you can see. I can always fix them later. Processing. Security patrol initiated. Bard? Well, that's no good. Terminating security search. Right, stealth time. I wonder if we can do this whole section in stealth. Let's save. I think not. Nope. Turn around. Bright eyes. Uh, am I going down here? Yes, I am. Down I go. Okay. Keep quiet. I have the parts you need on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pump. They're pretty. If you don't know what that means, just look for a command that says cycle droplet pump. Do not want to fight. Ah, cycle droplet pumps. An 
Trouble incoming, Captain. Ah. Oh well. That wasn't terrible. I should have known that that door wouldn't let us out. Uh, ah, that's a shortcut back. Okay, gotcha. Uh, right, we've got a perk. A perk, I say. Uh, minus 20% vendor prices. Time dilation. Damage when alone. That's no use. Not the ability to fast travel when encumbered, so we can still sprint, even if, mind you, we could just get extra carrying capacity. Base armor, companion crit chance. Um, I'm actually going to have that because we could still get. Our inventory filled up with that, but if we've got this, we can sprint regardless of how much. Also, we've got 10 points available. And I needed loading hack, didn't I? Right, we can now put points individually in things. But why... Oh, I can no longer do them as a group. That makes sense. Uh, 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 damage protection. After dodges. I've not used this perfect block thing yet. Coward duration. Scramble. Okay. Terrify. Sneak. Not very good at that. Uh, ooh, tinkering cost minus 50%. Quite like that. Uh, let's let's get a hack. Up to, uh... Wait, what? That. Yeah, if I can get a hack up to 20. I, I feel like it's, it's going to be of some benefit. I might be horribly wrong. Woo! Ow! <laughs> My legs. My beautiful, beautiful legs. I, I really appreciate the fact. Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicar. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. It's a bit moany, is Vicar Max. This is how we are. Right. Junlei. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. Thank you. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. That's us. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. Okay. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Wonderful. And we've got some goggles. Uh, you don't have a lot of faith in the board. You're right. I don't. The board is after two things. Money and power. power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. That sounds familiar. How do you keep them at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer. But I can also be a real hard ass. No. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. Uh -huh. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. Frustrating. What's it like being in command? Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Uh-huh. 
Plus, there's no time to train my successor. I really like the depth of field. That anyone outside the family would understand. Ships a family business. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gain, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently. She sounds happy about this. My mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Heart eyes. Um, was it a big change? It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Yeah. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Yeah. Uh, well, Vatican help always help you shoulder the burden, but that sounds like we want to get rid of her, which I don't. You got my attention. Uh, we'll be on our way. We've got other people to help. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly. Was it Edna? You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Uh, why would we run out of time? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. Right. Sir, why are you about to lose con capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Ah. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. Oh, that's not good. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. Ah. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. I wonder who could go and do that. Sounds like it's time. To get that back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget. For oh no, we'll go and do that. Expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei, um, the chief. I could check out the relay. I should say no, but why not? You can now Maybe travel to relay GB23 from your ship. I'll send you with an equipment. <laughs> but we can't. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some <laughs> Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I got to forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Indeed. The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. Uh -huh. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just to spam. to sort through. You just let messages from Earth sit in memory? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products. Spam. Only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm off. Right, so uh, we, we are picking up the quests. Uh, and we haven't really made any, 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 any progress. Worst contacts? I think it might be Ellie, actually, that's going to be our companion. Drinking sapphire wine. Yeah. Ask, oh yeah, I've forgotten about that. Located security terminal. Ah, right. Okay. Um. Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? When might we expect you out here again? What's this checkpoint over here? Gladys! Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking the on the The old people in this door. game don't look old. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? 
made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. It's my it's only complaint so far. The old people don't look old. Um, Phineas sent me. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Uh, okay. Lucky for us, Groundbreakers are free port. Aha! Outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Yeah. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. Uh-huh. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested I in. I might take the job anyway. Because uh, we don't have 10,000 bits. Uh, tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little more flexibility. Might be this could help us. With the groundbreaker. As well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms. No qualms. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna? I do. From engineering. Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along trends uh -huh. I might find interesting. Uh. She sent me a recording of a Ooh. distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Rosebud? And abandoned that place years ago. Say no more. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose. I do have an ear for it. I love the I like mysteries it. in these games. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be. I, I just need buyer. to get my ship ungrounded. Big wigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Indeed. Abandoned outpost, corporate secrets. Don't got it. To come find old Gladys when you're done. Old. Uh, let's see what you got for sale. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep uh. busy. Four hundred and eighty DPS. Restricted stock. You cannot purchase it. Thug kit. Goes on our armor. Right. 8% discount. But what was the junk? That was the junk. Sell junk. I wish it popped up with a little thing for how much you get. So maybe it does somewhere and I've just not noticed. Uh... Sell. Sell. Uh, I'll get rid of that. I'm not much into the heavy weapons, so I'm not going to bother with those. The hunting rifle's well past its sell by that. Weight, value to weight ratio, damage rating. That'll do. That'll do, donk here. Adrenaline time. Ru Ooh. Yeah, not going to try and open that with her uh, right there. That would be dumb. Also, didn't we need to talk to you Gracious. about... I was just sitting down for tea. No, you weren't. Um, I want to ask you something else. What do you want then? My hard-earned wisdom? Uh, why'd the board recall Stellan Afkis? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Uh-huh. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. Gosh. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. Miranda. The evidence. Uh, what makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful like. Yeah, they, never they tend to, to be. Behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony is not much more than a diorama. Showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. 
She's our mess. Fairy snuff. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Oh? He claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true? Might be true. We will undoubtedly Might find out. Some new trick from the board. Right. Thanks for your time. Anytime, sir. You've gained Purpleberry Bunch. Wonderful. Right. That actually hasn't helped us with the main quest. That's what I thought we were... Ah, yes. So we don't have the 10,000 bits just yet. So we need to talk to Udam. Udom. That's the only way that... I, mean, I suppose I could sell some stuff. But we need to go and talk to this guy anyway, so... I'm just going to hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Hello, you have an exciting moustache. Agents would be more content sitting at the top of the system's food chain as they are. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Damn. Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Uh, uh, yes, unfortunately. Alex is dead. This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? My word, you're prosaic. I am sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Ah, uh, were you interested in him? What was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My oh, dear friend. and we squished him. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh, I really wouldn't know, unfortunately. It must have been lost with Alex then. One more tragedy to... Maybe he did, I don't know. Tell me, how did he die? Heroically. Uh, he died in an escape pod accident. Oh, awful business that. But why? How? No, no. Best not to ask after the gory. Yeah, because because then you might hate us. Uh, I'm very sorry. Right, right. You are going important places. I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag. Oh, was that place. it? I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you oh. go. You have something for us today. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? I have no idea who you're talking about. Alex never mentioned him. That's... Uh, well, that's just... Because he didn't have the chance. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else? I, I'm, I I'm hypnotized by his mustache. Um, what's this about the board having your head? Oh, actually, no. We need to talk about Jesse. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. That's compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Not a great. Uh, I'll pay it off for her. Persuade twenty. She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an indenture contract. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although, seeing as this woman isn't a member of our crew... But you're barely a member of my crew, Vicar Max. So high. I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. Uh -huh. If you'll look over this itemized bill... Two thousand one hundred and seventy-one. Uh. I'm glad we could come to an accommodation. You may inform us. That's not a huge amount. Will be recalled. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? I've increased my reputation with the board. 
Uh, I wanted to ask you something else. Can you get me to Stella Bay? Oh, good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? Me? So, no. No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. No. Uh, no one would have done it. You didn't have to crack over the thesaurus. Uh, has it got, gotten less stifling hot in here lately? You refer to the radiator issue? Oh, goodness, it was dreadful. wonder who managed that. I was that. sweating constantly. Chief Tennyson certainly did take her time resolving it. Uh, we sorted that for her. I fixed it. I owe you a debt then. I was going through three, four shirts a day. Still, that Tennyson woman. Uh... Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. Um, certain of that. I was stuck. She did everything she could. It was your people's fault, not June Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you? Hmm. Excitable. Yes. Don't talk to her that way. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I don't owe a grease stained wrench jockey like her the time of day. Oh. Let alone my deference. I will do no such thing. Oops, that was the wrong option. You're not too wonderful yourself. Ask away. We are leaving. I was going to try and persuade him and press the wrong button. Never mind. Never mind. I don't like racism and classism. Right. We can now get... Right, we can get away from here and... We can go and tell... Tell, uh, yes, she was just new here. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once. You've huh? got a massive nose. Nothing makes me happier than being even. That being right, that's nice too. Hi, friends. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Uh, yes. Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. What's a sawbones? If you're looking for a oh, medic. Oh, a medic. Yeah, I know medic. that. Are yeah, you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, <laughs> I like I'm already. about ready to pick up another contract anyway. And you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. Lily. But we can say I'm repaying <laughs> favors. She's never watched any of my videos. <laughs> Welcome aboard. You won't be sorry, though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Uh. Max, I'll catch up with you on the Welcome ship. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. So you can have two added to time. Right. Ellie can now join the party. Uh, I'll talk to you after, because otherwise we're going to get hugely sidetracked. Uh, right. I wanted five points in hack. That gets us the vending machines thing. And let's get some more in. <laughs> right. Break down mods and armor for a 20% chance to extract the basic mods. Yeah, I've got, I've got to put some more points in tech. Right. In that case, we're going to... Oh, I was going to say we're going to round up this episode by talking to um, Pavati on the ship. But we're going to round up the episode now, and we'll do that next time because um, I've already managed to make this run on, as I tend to do. Well done, Demma. You can't do timekeeping. Thank you all very much for watching, folks. I'm really liking this game. The, 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 the sense of humor and the personality of the characters is what's selling it for me. Plus, having any opportunity to, to stick it to the man 
is always quite entertaining to a liberal socialist minded individual such as myself no, don't get me wrong nothing wrong with money rampant capital capitalism and corporations on the other hand me not a huge fan thank you all for watching folks catch you next time Toodle pip thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.